accounting standard as 3 revised 1997 cash flow statements please visit our site http colon slash slash icis.blogspot.com accounting standard as three cash flow statements revised 1997 issued by the council of the institute of chartered accountants of india comes into effect in respect of accounting periods commencing on or after january 4th on 1997 this standard supersedes accounting standard as three changes in financial position issued in june 1981 This standard is mandatory in nature in respect of accounting periods commencing on or after January 4, 2004 for the enterprises which fall in any one or more of the following categories at any time during that accounting period. This standard is mandatory for enterprises whose equity or debt securities are listed whether in India or outside India. Enterprises which are in the process of listing their equity or debt securities as evidenced by the Board of Directors resolution in this regard. Banks including cooperative banks, financial institutions, enterprises carrying on insurance business. All commercial, industrial and business reporting enterprises whose turnover for the immediately preceding accounting period on the basis of audited financial statements exceeds or s. 50 crore. Turnover does not include other income. All commercial, industrial and business reporting enterprises having borrowings including public deposits in excess of or s. 10 crore at any time during the accounting period holding and subsidiary enterprises of any one of the above at any time during the accounting period. The enterprises which do not fall in any of the above categories are encouraged but are not required to apply this standard. Where an enterprise has been covered in any one or more of the above categories and subsequently ceases to be so covered, the enterprise will not qualify for exemption from application of this standard until the enterprise ceases to be covered in any of the above categories for two consecutive years. Objective Information about the cash flows of an enterprise is useful in providing users of financial statements with a basis to assess the ability of the enterprise to generate cash and cash equivalents and the needs of the enterprise to utilize those cash flows. The economic decisions that are taken by users require an evaluation of the ability of an enterprise to generate cash and cash equivalents and the timing and certainty of their generation. The statement deals with the provision of information about the historical changes in cash and cash equivalents of an enterprise by means of a cash flow statement which classifies cash flows during the period from operating, investing and financing activities. Scope Power 1 an enterprise should prepare a cash flow statement and should present it for each period for which financial statements are presented. Para 2. Users of an enterprise's financial statements are interested in how the enterprise generates and uses cash and cash equivalents. This is the case regardless of the nature of the enterprise's activities and irrespective of whether cash can be viewed as the product of the enterprise as may be the case with the financial enterprise. Enterprises need cash for essentially the same reasons, however, different their principal revenue producing activities might be. They need cash to conduct their operations, to pay their obligations and to provide returns to their investors. Benefits of cash flow information. Para 3. 
The cash flow statement when used in conjunction with the other financial statements provides information that enables users to evaluate the changes in net assets of an enterprise, its financial structure, including its liquidity, insolvency, and its ability to affect the amounts and timing of cash flows in order to adapt to changing circumstances and opportunities. Cash flow information is useful in assessing the ability of the enterprise to generate cash and cash equivalents and enables users to develop models to assess and compare the present value of the future cash flows of different enterprises. It also enhances the comparability of the reporting of operating performance by different enterprises because it eliminates the effects of using different accounting treatments for the same transactions and events. Para 4. Historical cash flow information is often used as an indicator of the amount, timing, and certainty of future cash flows. It is also useful in checking the accuracy of past assessments of future cash flows and in examining the relationship between profitability and net cash flow and the impact of changing prices. Definition Para 5. The following terms are used in this statement with the meanings specified. Cash comprises cash on hand and demand deposits with banks. Cash equivalents are short-term, highly liquid investments that are readily convertible into known amounts of cash and which are subject to an insignificant risk of changes in value. Cash flows are inflows and outflows of cash and cash equivalents. Operating activities are the principal revenue-producing activities of the enterprise and other activities that are not investing or financing activities. Investing activities are the acquisition and disposal of long-term assets and other investments not included in cash equivalents. Financing activities are activities that result in changes in the size and composition of the owner's capital, including preference share capital in the case of a company and borrowings of the enterprise. Cash and Cash Equivalents Para 6 Cash equivalents are held for the purpose of meeting short-term cash commitments rather than for investment or other purposes. For an investment to qualify as a cash equivalent, it must be readily convertible to a known amount of cash and be subject to an insignificant risk of changes in value. Therefore, an investment normally qualifies as a cash equivalent only when it has a short maturity of, say, three months or less from the date of acquisition. Investments in shares are excluded from cash equivalents unless they are in substance cash equivalents. For example, preference shares of a company acquired shortly before their specified redemption date, provided there is only an insignificant risk of failure of the company to repay the amount at maturity. Para 7. Cash flows exclude movements between items that constitute cash or cash equivalents because these components are part of the cash management of an enterprise rather than part of its operating, investing, and financing activities. Cash management includes the investment of excess cash and cash equivalents. Presentation of a cash flow statement. Power rate. The cash flow statement should report cash flows during the period classified by operating, investing and financing activities. Para 9. An enterprise presents its cash flows from operating, investing and financing activities in a manner which is most appropriate to its business. Classification by activity provides information that allows users to assess the impact of those activities on the financial position of the enterprise and the amount of its cash and cash equivalents. This information may also be used to evaluate the relationships among those activities. Para 10 A single transaction may include cash flows that are classified differently. For example, when the installment paid in respect of a fixed asset acquired on deferred payment basis includes both interest and loan, the interest element is classified under financing activities and the loan element is classified under investing activities. 
Operating activities. Power 11. The amount of cash flows arising from operating activities is a key indicator of the extent to which the operations of the enterprise have generated sufficient cash flows to maintain the operating capability of the enterprise, pay dividends, repay loans, and make new investments without recourse to external sources of financing. Information about the specific components of historical operating cash flows is useful in conjunction with other information in forecasting future operating cash flows. Para 12. Cash flows from operating activities are primarily derived from the principal revenue producing activities of the enterprise. Therefore, they generally result from the transactions and other events that enter into the determination of net profit or loss. Examples of cash flows from operating activities are A. Cash receipts from the sale of goods and the rendering of services B. Cash receipts from royalties, fees, commissions and other revenue C. Cash payments to suppliers for goods and services. D. Cash payments to and on behalf of employees. E. Cash receipts and cash payments of an insurance enterprise for premiums and claims, annuities, and other policy benefits. F. Cash payments or refunds of income taxes unless they can be specifically identified with financing and investing activities, and G. Cash receipts and payments relating to futures contracts, forward contracts, option contracts and swap contracts when the contracts are held for dealing or trading purposes. Operating activities. Power 13. Some transactions such as the sale of an item of plant may give rise to a gain or loss which is included in the determination of net profit or loss. However, the cash flows relating to such transactions are cash flows from investing activities. Para 14. An enterprise may hold securities and loans for dealing or trading purposes, in which case they are similar to inventory acquired specifically for resale. Therefore, cash flows arising from the purchase and sale of dealing or trading securities are classified as operating activities. Similarly, cash advances and loans made by financial enterprises are usually classified as operating activities since they relate to the main revenue-producing activity of that enterprise. Investing Activities Para 15 the separate disclosure of cash flows arising from investing activities is important because the cash flows represent the extent to which expenditures have been made for resources intended to generate future income.